of millennials, the last thing on your mind might be cancer, but doctors around the country are noticing a new trend that you need to be aware of. They say millennials are starting to develop more of the types of cancer traditionally seen in people in their 60s and 70s. And obesity gets the blame for many of the cases, but not all of them. Our Elsa Gillis found out what types of cancers are showing up the most here in our area among millennials. Jessica Burkett is a wife mother and nurse practitioner. She's used to taking care of her family and patients. Out of the blue, the roles reversed. While I was putting on night cream one night, I noticed that one of my lymph nodes was slightly enlarged. That lymph node ended up being nothing, but an ultrasound revealed something else. Here you can see more normal thyroid tissue. Here you can see the mass. Scans showed a 1.1 centimeter nodule in her thyroid. I remember just being terrified and scared and um, um, just very overwhelmed um, because I knew I had a two-year-old two daughter that needed her mom. With a young daughter to raise, Burkett remembers being frightened but also confused. I try to live a healthy lifestyle, but um, so for this to happen with no family history was just completely you know, overwhelming to think why. More young women are finding themselves in the same situation. The top three cancers for women in their early 20s to late 30s in both North and South Carolina are breast cancer, endocrine, which includes thyroid cancer, and melanoma. For men, the top three are testicular cancer, melanoma, and in North Carolina, number three is colorectal cancer. In South Carolina, it's leukemia. All of these cancers have good survival rates as long as they're caught early. Surgical oncologist Dr. Russell Smith says thyroid cancer in particular can go undetected because there are usually no symptoms. It could go for years and you not know it's there. He says young women should check their necks regularly. And he says talk to your doctor if you notice problems with your throat, like trouble with your voice or swallowing. If it does go ignored, they can spread to other parts of the body. The nodule I felt, the lymph node, was on the side of my neck, and that was something that Dr. Smith said that is what saved your life. But, you know, it had nothing to do and still has nothing to do with your thyroid cancer. So it was just pure luck. Another problem doctors are seeing, while the overall rate of colon cancer is dropping in the U.S., it's actually growing among millennials and Generation X, and doctors aren't sure why. So, Erica Scott, it just proves how important those regular checkups are. Yes, and paying attention to your body. Thank mm -hmm. you, Elsa.